My name is Yatua Amwa. I work with the Fisheries Commission as a deputy head of the Post Harvest Unit. And our mandate is to promote the production of safe and quality fish products for consumption locally and then internationally. So we have a lot of programs in the sector, but I would also want to state that the sector employs over 90% women. So most of our activities, the sector, I mean the post-harvest sector, employs over 90% women. And this involves activities right from when the fish is landed on the landing site, and then how it is gotten into the fish processing site for our women to process. And processing, just as culture demands, is in the kitchen. It has to do with cooking. So there's that perception that women are always found in the kitchen. So that is why we have about 90% of the women doing the processing of fish. So as a commission, that is why the post-harvest unit has been established. One, just as I've stated, to improve the quality of our fish products and also to promote sustainable livelihoods among our women folk. So we have a lot of programs. One that is outstanding is the establishment of the National Fish Processors and Traders Association. So that is the umbrella body for fish processors and traders in Ghana. And under that, there are the regional bodies, the district bodies, then it goes down to the communities. There are also other organizations that may not necessarily be under NAFTA, but they also promote the work of women, like the Tuna Merchants Association of Ghana, Tumazga. Then we also have a lot of NGOs, Sewefia, Central and Western Fish Mongers Association, and then we have the Development Action Association. These are all working towards the development of women. So as a country, we are doing a lot as far as empowerment of women is concerned. Most of our activities are directed at capacity building. We train them how to handle fish, how to even manage their groups, business management, and among other things. Then we have also developed improved fish processing ovens. We are thinking of their health because the existing ones they stand by the fire, which has health implications. So the improved ones do not let them inhale too much smoke. And there's even one that the FAO has developed, the FTT, which uses charcoal, so it doesn't promote or um, produce a lot of smoke. The Ahuto oven is an intermediary between the FTT and the charcoal smoker, which also reduces the smoke production as far as fish um, processing is concerned. We have a lot of um, fish drying platforms so that the women can dry their fish. We are all looking at promoting trade, both at the local and international level. You don't need to take bad fish out there for people to consume. Our, the, the health of the consumer is also important. So internationally, we have Atlafco that in one way or the other works through the Fisheries Commission and the Ministry to support women's development. So we might not feel the effect directly, but then all the activities of Atlafco are, or let me say, the um, objectives of Atlafco are achieved through the implementation of our activities to support women. So that is what we do in Ghana. And we are very grateful for Atlafco for this opportunity. And uh, even to come and exhibit our products, uh, comparatively, we have gone round. We have seen products from our sister countries. It is beautiful. But we feel that our products are of high quality because we are using the improved technologies. And then also, in terms of exchange program, we had a group of fish processors from Liberia visiting Ghana in 2022. We took them through how we manage our women, the improved hygienic handling, the improved ovens that they are using. 
So we are hoping that in future we will also go there and go and have a look at how they do their things and if the exchange program produced any uh, positive effect. One thing I left out, we have introduced a safe fish certification scheme. You see, we are doing a lot, but we need to also push the women to help themselves. So we want, it, uh, we want the women to get their products and their facilities certified. You don't need the high standard, but you need to have the basics as far as fish processing is concerned. So we have just launched the Safe Fish Certification and License Key for fish processes in Ghana. So thank you very much.